This has been one heck of a year for space. My name is Willem. And my name is Nelly. And this is Kids News Break, 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 Break. You may have found yourself staring up at the stars this year, wondering what's going on up there. Are we alone in the universe? And even what's been happening on Mars lately? And we have the answer to those and some other questions that you haven't even thought of on this episode of Kids News Break. If you like this episode, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. The big space news this year has been the landing of the Perseverance rover on Mars back in February. Millions around the world watched live as a rover the size of a small SUV touched down on Mars and it got there in one piece. It took seven months to get from Earth to Mars and his mission is to see if there was ever life on Mars, no matter how small. It will drill rock samples, seal them up in tubes and drop those tubes on the surface for future missions to pick up. Kind of like a Martian pooper scooper. <laughs> Perseverance was packing a surprise underneath it. It is the Ingenuity Mars helicopter. It has two blades that spin in opposite directions and spin much faster than on Earth because Mars has a much thinner atmosphere. It also has to survive cold temperatures. At night, it can get down to minus 90 degrees Celsius. What? Or minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. What? What? It already has a few successful flights under its belt. Ingenuity can give the scientists a much different bird's eye view of the Martian surface and help Perseverance with its mission. What a cute team! China also landed their own rover on Mars to study the red planet. Zurong, that's the rover's name, arrived safely and is driving around. Maybe we'll get a robot rover deathmatch if the two rovers ever meet up. Speaking of China, they've started building their own space station, like the ISS. They've got the first piece up in orbit. One problem though, they didn't have control over the rocket as it came back to Earth. For days the entire planet watched, wondering whether they're gonna get crushed by China's space junk. It turned out that the scrap rocket crashed down in the ocean. Sploosh! They said no one got harmed by the rocket, but did anyone ask the fish? Most of us have heard of either Elon Musk or SpaceX. This year, SpaceX launched their new rocket called the Starship. It looks like something from an old science fiction movie or like a silver bullet. After a few tremendous explosions, <laughs> SpaceX had a successful test and landing of the Starship. By using a reusable rocket, it would help cut down on space junk and garbage rocket pieces piling up in the ocean. Hint, hint, China. Since we've all been home for the past year and a half because of COVID, a lot of us have been going outside more and looking up. The number of UFOs reported has gone way up this year. And you know what? They might not have been seeing things. Recently, the United States government has admitted that UFOs are real and even released video. Now, now, cool your jets. UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object. And that's just it. There are just things that can't be identified and doesn't necessarily mean aliens. But we got to thinking, this is the United States military and they know a lot about objects flying around in the sky. If they can't identify what they saw or what the UFOs were doing, aliens, maybe? As a reminder, most of this stuff happened this year and we're only halfway through. We will keep our eyes on the skies and let you guys know if we see anything. From us here at Kids News Break, take care. Oh, Space Station. What?